Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement problems. This is standard 4.8c in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 6 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a school and they have 30 gallons of lemonade for the school dance. All right, so let's go ahead and draw some lemonade here. So here's our school. All right, we'll make that look like the school. It's got like the little school bell. And inside that school, you're going to find 30 gallons of lemonade. So let's just make, let me see, uh, let's make an array. All right, okay, so let's make five across. And then let's make six down. Five times six makes 30. So this is going to visually represent my 30 gallons. So I've got four rows. I've got five rows. All right, there we go. I've got my six rows. So there's my 30 gallons of lemonade. Now, the students at the dance drink 24. Okay, so first, am I adding or subtracting here? If you are drinking gallons, you are not getting any extra. You're actually taking it away because it's being consumed. So our first step is realizing this is a subtraction problem. Okay, so they're going to drink 24 gallons. So really what I have here is 30 gallons minus 24 gallons. But it's not just 24 gallons. They also have that one extra quart. Okay, so 24 gallons, one quart. And it's important, it's not just 30 minus 24, because you have to use the units, because each unit is different sizes. So these are all gallons right here. So let's write that so we can remember what we have here. So I have I can easily take away the 24 gallons. All right, so let's take away 24 gallons, and I'll use red. I'm just going to just... Draw an X. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's keep counting by fives. I've got 10. I've got 15. I've got 20. I'm not going to get this full last row. There's my 24. Okay, that's 24 gallons gone. But I also need to get rid of or subtract one quart. I don't have any quarts. These are all gallons. So this is where we might need to do a little unit conversion. Let's look at our reference materials. See what we can find. And you're going to find right there. Move it right towards the bottom of the screen. Left side, one gallon equals four quarts. Okay, so that's what we're going to need here. One gallon equals four quarts. Easy way to remember that. One dollar equals four quarters, right? That quart, quarter, they both mean the same thing. They mean one fourth. It means they are one fourth of something. So a quarter is one fourth of a dollar because it takes four quarters to make a dollar. A quart is one fourth of a gallon because it takes four quarts to make one gallon. So I need to get rid of one quart, but inside each of these gallons, are four quarts. So I'm going to take my little circles here that each represent a gallon. I'm going to split them into fourths. Okay. So I can say that I've got one, two, three, four, five, I've got six gallons. Or inside each of those, four quarts. So I can say I've got 24 quarts, right? I can multiply by four. Now, I need to get rid of one. So let's go back to red here. And I'm going to just draw a little X in that little quart right there. Now, there are still three quarts left. So I've got three quarts right here. One, two, three that I did not use. I'll color those in green. And then I've got four, eight, 12, 16. I've got 20 quarts down here. So how many quarts do I have left? I've got 20 plus three. I've got 23 quarts. Or you can just keep the gallons together, and I'd say I've got five gallons and three quarts, A.